We are very excited about our next guest. She's an actor. She's an author. She is Lauren Graham. Graham, as you know, is best known for her starring as Lorelai, starring role in the acclaimed series that would be Gilmore Girls. That series ran, as Tony knows, for seven seasons, and then it returned for a special revival back in 2016. Here's a look. Oh, Rory, come on. Did you order from Amazon again? Because we're going to get your books our own house. I didn't, I swear. It's from my mother. What is it? It's heavy. Must be her hopes and dreams for me. I thought she discarded those years ago. Okay, Rory and Lorelai. Over nearly a three-decade career, Graham has made a name for herself as an actor, a writer, and a producer. Thank you very much. She's also a three-time New York Times bestselling author. Thank you very much. Her new book of essays, the latest one, is called, I love this title, Have I Told You This Already? <laughs> stories I Don't Want to Forget to Remember. In it, Graham discusses personal stories from her early days in Hollywood, life, and family. Lauren Graham, we're happy to say, is joining us from her home in Los Angeles. Hello, Lauren Graham, on this day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? I'm good. So are you cooking? Are you eating? Are you going somewhere? If we were there now, could we smell the turkey cooking already? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm prepping. I'm cooking. I started every year. I try to start a little bit earlier. So this year I started yesterday, but I have lots to do. Okay. You can send us your address later. We'll be by. But let, let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk about your book because Lauren, I love the title uh, chapters, the names, boobs of the nineties, Ryan Gosling cannot confirm and Forever 32. I wanted to start with Forever 32 because you said you started thinking about that when you were 22, and you, you wondered, is somebody at 32, they, do they walk with their shoulders hunched over? Do they have a limp? Are they using a cane? And now as we sit today and we're all over 32, you must crack up about that at 32, worrying about what's it like? Yes. Well, that's sort of what the essay is, is how wrong you are <laughs> at different ages thinking about what the next decade will bring and how lucky I am to have friends of all ages, basically. You know, I also thought it was interesting that when it comes to aging, and I never thought about this until you pointed it out, that only women are writing books about aging. You said you Googled you didn't see any books about aging written by a man. Well, I that's an essay called I Feel Bad About Nora Ephron's Neck, Nephron's which is neck, about yes. sort of an uh, homage or just my love for Nora Ephron. And when I Googled men, necks, aging, what came up was why are men so obsessed with women's necks? <laughs> so I just wondered if it isn't a comedy that's sort of uniquely uh, female. Tony, you want to answer that? Well, I mean, I, I could write a whole book about how I feel about my neck, to be honest with you, because I didn't put enough uh, suntan lotion on it. Right, right. Was playing baseball, so I've got some serious damage back here. Yeah. I don't like side angle shots, but, you know, <laughs> uh, that's for a future essay. Uh, Lauren, I love your tips on, like, the, high, the Hollywood hierarchy. Mm. Could you explain that essay, talk about it a little bit? So, um... I guess one of my experiences of having been lucky enough to be in this career for a long time is the endless discovery of, of um, language and rules I didn't know existed. Um, and that essay is about being booked on a talk show and sort of the the unspoken behind the scenes of who needed to be booked with me. Um, I guess it's just... you no matter how much you learn, there's always more to understand about the secret behind the scenes. Yeah, there's self-reflection um, with a comedic undertone, but then you also tackle some tough topics. You talk about how you didn't have a relationship, a real relationship with your mom, but her courage allowed room for yours. How so? Um, yeah, I was mainly raised by my dad and my stepmom. My mom lived in England, um, but she was kind of an unusual person for her time in that she strived to be an artist. She um, made that effort. She was quite unconventional in the way she lived. And while those dreams didn't exactly come true for her, it definitely um, gave me the idea that it was possible. And so mm. I, I feel very indebted to her for that. You also talk about Gilmore Girls. We have to talk to you about that because you said it changed your life for the better. I want to talk about that. And you say you're not going to answer the question, who is the baby daddy for Rory? Is it Logan? <laughs> is it Jess? You have your own thoughts about that, but you're not, you're not saying who the father really is. But talk to us about Gilmore Girls and what it means to you. And are you guys coming back? Um, 
what it means to me is how incredibly fortunate I feel to have fallen in love with a part that then I got to play. Um, I, I don't know how many of those you get in a lifetime, in a career. And the, uh, the fact that it has continued to bring people um, joy is very um, fulfilling to me. And mm -hmm. the fact that I then have spent years and years and years answering questions that I can't possibly answer, like if we're coming back or who, uh, what team I'm on. Um, I just love that the fans are that passionate that it still is alive for them, but I can't, I can't answer or it would all be over for me. <laughs> yes, you could. We won't tell anybody. Uh, Tony, who are you? Lo team Logan, Team Jess. I haven't caught up with the latest Netflix series. I want to say people should go back and watch episode one straight through from the beginning because you're such a good mom on the show and Rory is such an interesting and complicated daughter and there's so much for families to get into and it's just darn entertaining also. I, I really love it. It's a huge show in my household. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Well, this time of year it's running nonstop. So you can you can do you can meet that goal of starting from episode one uh, pretty much. A this little weekend. family activity, Lauren. Uh, our executive producer, Shauna Thomas, you should meet her. She says she's Team Logan if that matters to you. It matters. It all matters. Thank you, Shauna. I appreciate it. All right. Bye, Lauren Graham. Thank you. Have a great holiday tomorrow. Happy Have Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you so much. You too. Have I Told You This Already is on sale now wherever you like to buy your books.